markets are looking to regain footing after, after a tumultuous week on Wall Street. The unwinding of the yen carry trade and a softer than expected jobs report spiked volatility in markets, causing investors to hit the panic button and price in higher odds of a recession. With uncertainty still lingering, how should investors be positioning their portfolios? Here to weigh in is Liz Miller, founder and president of Summit Place Financial Advisors. Liz, thank you so much for being on the show today. As we know, August is typically a very volatile month for stocks, but it does seem like things are heightened even more so this year amid the TBD factor of the Fed, the election coming up as well. What do you make of the action that we've seen so far? Thanks. I don't think the action is surprising. And you said it, August always has been a volatile month. And I think the main reason is there's a lot less volume. We've all taken holidays and vacations at different times during the month, and small bits of data end up having outside influence. And so we could have said at any point at the beginning of this year, as we've spent the last six months, that the strong market was probably due for some sort of pullback and a little bit of volatility. And we could have been taking bets as to what was going to kick it off. This time, it was that unemployment, employment report that was sort of surprising and seemed out of step with trend. And Liz, there's been a lot of recent calls for a recession, this overall fear sentiment in the market that bad news is bad news again. What's your advice to investors when they're looking at their portfolio? Should you do nothing? Should you rebalance? What, what are you telling some of your clients? So we always tell clients that the summer is a great time to rebalance and reassess. We do not see a recession risk. And even when we look at this recent employment report, if you look at it in the context of the last couple years, Yes, employment, growth, new jobs has been slowly coming down the last couple of quarters, but it's still way above levels of employment prior to COVID. So we really had that post-COVID spike. And so it's always, you know, statistics are great. How do we cut the data? In the short time we look at, it looks like these numbers are slowing. But if we look over four or five years, we see employment in the U.S. is really healthy still. So I'm not concerned by that one data point. But I always say summer is a good time to reconsider where you're invested and use some of this volatility that is inevitable to uh, buy things you like or start looking at prices of things that you haven't been in. So I want to talk about that. When we think about the dips in the market overall, what are the three or so dips that you would recommend to buy right now? Uh, so in this market, I think we're talking about some good stocks that are interesting in this dip. And I would say, you know, I really think as rates come down in the future, construction and housing is going to do well. And kind of a, it's a, a large cap, but not well-known stock is Martin Marietta Materials, symbol MLM. They make crushed rock. <laughs> it's a great buy. It's trading at a discount to the market right now. It's come down and their products are going to be used in any type of construction across the United States, whether it's residential or commercial. So I really love that. Um, in the financial sector, we like BlackRock a lot, another stock that's had a pullback in this dip, and they're very well positioned to benefit as the market rebounds, and they're also getting into some more active management kind of funds that I think a lot of investors are going to like. Okay, so finan uh, financials, construction. What about tech, especially when you talk about a name like NVIDIA? We have earnings coming up at the end of the month. We've seen some pretty wild swings there. What do you expect from those earnings? And you do, think, do you think that'll be the next catalyst for big tech? So certainly we're all watching that NVIDIA earnings. Um, NVIDIA is a name we've owned for many years. You know, it's up another 5% today. So we could have been saying, you know, was it a great buy below 100? And it probably was if you haven't been in it. Uh, but I think you do have to keep watching valuation. It is the ultimate shovel to the gold rush, but they're real. They've got real products. They've got real sales. They've got real earnings coming through that excite us. So I do think there's plenty of runway for NVIDIA, but all of us are trying to assess what is the true value of this technological revol revolution called AI. If you don't own NVIDIA, by all means, watch the dips, but always know you're owning a very volatile stock. It has a history of always being volatile, even before the most recent run. Mm -hmm. And NVIDIA shares are up more than 5% today. Some great advice there. Liz Miller, Summit Place Financial Advisors, founder and president. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.